What's up, my crazy subscriber? This is Joking Joss before here to bring you guys more information about Black Ops 3. So the thing we're gonna be talking about today is the screenshot that we got right here on the screen. It is the assault rifle division for the Black Ops 3 multiplayer game mode. And um, the guns that we got here are called the Man of War, the ARK, XR2, the Sheev, and the HVK30. Now, the last two that are classified are either DLC or weapons that you have to unlock for later on after you're like level 50 or something, or they're just locked because we're playing on the alpha stage. I mean, they don't want to unlock everything and you know, everybody's going to know what the hell's up. So uh, they want to leave a little bit of surprise factor. Once you start playing the game for real, like in November, you're going to probably be able to unlock those too. So there's three reasons why they're locked. DLC, uh, you got to be level 50 or something, or they're just, you know, locked because of the alpha stage or whatever. Um, so anyways, yeah, these are the weapons the assault rifle division and um, I do got a little bit of explanation of some of them The man of war has to be the worst name given to an assault rifle like for real like really the man of war Why well, didn't you just call it the mo the mow? That's it like I don't need to freaking know the whole name. What the hell is this? Give it like a simple name like the ARK like that was like super cool and the XR2 look sounds super cool But the man of war I'm not gonna be like go get the man of war or something like come on man Give it a better name. Don't be running out of names. It's always like a you know an abbreviation for a certain assault rifle. Uh, the next gun I would like to talk about will be the ARK-7. Now this one's pretty much the AK-47 family right here. So I do have a lot of experience with this weapon. I used the AK-47 on the Modern Warfare 3 game, also on Call of Duty 4, and they were pretty much functional. Also on Black Ops 2, it was uh, the AN-94, and they were pretty much awesome to use. With the AN-94, I went 80 and 0. So um, the first day of Black Ops 3, watch me use this weapon, and I'm pretty much going to be getting the best attachments with this weapon so it can function pretty well. So that is it, guys. If you guys want to see more Black Ops 3 information, make sure you subscribe for more.